What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video. Thank you for watching. What we're going to be talking about today and breaking down today is what exactly it takes in order to achieve a Town Hall 10 three star. Often in war recap videos and different Town Hall 10 uh, three stars you guys see, you never get a chance to see what it takes and what goes on behind the scenes in order to achieve that Town Hall 10 three star. So we have this base, you might have already seen it in the War Recap versus One Hive Genesis, and this base absorbed four Town Hall 10 hits, and we're gonna show you exactly what it took in order for us to take it down. And we're gonna be starting off, it, this was scouted by Town Hall 9, but this was the first Town Hall 10 three star attempt. So if you look down at the troop bar, we have uh, Holt gonna be taking on this base. He has a whole bunch of loons, about 24 loons, two camp hounds, one in the clan castle. And you see where he dropped his archer queen. He wants to suicide that air defense over at nine o'clock. But if you saw where he dropped her, it was a couple tiles too high. So if you look, instead of going directly to the air defense and coming down to kind of meet up with the BK Vout kill squad, she ends up getting locked on the town hall, which took an enormous amount of time. So you'll see right here, drop down the jump. Notice he kind of spread the Valkyries out on each one of those elixir pumps. So the Valks got kind of spread out and you'll see they kind of get stuck. They're already taking damage from the Inferno Tower and a few of them kind of get stuck on that cannon over on the upper left hand side. So even under Rage and under the BK ability, he was not able to take out that Inferno Tower. So when we saw this attack live, we already knew that he was going to be in trouble with that Inferno Tower still up. And Queen just beating on some trash coming around and now he's starting the Hound Loon portion. Enemy CC coming out, it's just a Hound Loon, not going to be an issue. And you'll see he drops his haste down. He's hasting up at 12 o'clock. Did not go very heavy on the initial deployment, which 9 times out of 10 is very, is, is very, very crucial, is starting very heavy on your initial Loon deployment. So you'll see that air defense in the core is still up. He was not able to get that taken down. And he does have a pair of heal spells, but with that Tesla farm right there, followed up by the three archer towers, the expo, uh, that little mini wizard tower farm. It was just way too much for his loons to handle. He kind of peters out at the end here down at the six o'clock compartment. So very nice try to Hulk trying to take on this base for the first Town Hall 10 three-star attempt. And we'll go ahead and get into the next attempt that we had on it. And the, the plan did change slightly we have Copa Cabana, aka Ked, with his 5 million accounts. And he's switching up the plan a little bit. He's still going with the Lalo, but instead of that BK Valk kill squad, he is going to be dropping a Golem. So you'll see what happens right here is I think he wanted the Golem to target that Wizard Tower, but what ends up happening is that when the Tesla on the outside of the wall ends up pulling his golem over to the far right. And if you look at his archer queen, that archer tower is, that golem's not taking that archer tower. So the archer tower is just shooting his archer queen right in the face where he has to end up popping an early ability and did not get that great a value from that golem. So you'll see right here, he is taking out a few of these uh, buildings, but again, with his Archer Queen, she's already dead because he had to pop that early ability, so just did not get that good of value. He tried to suicide up at 12 o'clock, dropped a few loons, uh, you know, just hasting in a few loons. They died off, did get the one over at nine, so he ends up having to drop a few more loons to take out that air defense up at 12 o'clock. And he has his whole wad just coming in right through the core here, followed up by that freeze that he drops on the bottom left-hand Inferno Tower. Has a nice rage right in the core, ends up getting both Inferno Towers down, but just on the back side of this base just did not have enough, just did not have enough steam in order to take out the the three o'clock side of this base. So it has quite a few Archer Towers up, that Tesla and a Wizard Tower. It was very, very close though. Does have quite a few pups to help with cleanup, but he just ran out of gas towards the very end and just did not get that good enough value from his golem. If that archer queen, if his archer queen was tanked by that golem, it would have been a lot closer, but he did have to force an early ability. So very nice try to Copa Cabana. So now let's go ahead and look at the third attempt on this base. 
Okay, next up we have Oki, who's going to come so close, as you guys are about to see. And you'll notice that he's going with Hulk's plan. He's going to be suiciding his Archer Queen over on the air defense over at 9 o'clock. Has a baby drag on that army camp and that elixir pump just to kind of clear that trash to have a nice path for his Valks. And you'll see where he dropped his queen. Notice the queen did not lock on the town hall like Hulk's did because he dropped the queen a little lower. So she was able to kind of meet up with the kill squad. Already took out that cannon that Hulk's Valks got caught up on on his attack. So she's kind of meeting up with the kill squad. Goes ahead and pops her ability. King jumping in, no problem, followed by the Valks, and he does drop a Rage on that little mini kill squad, and you'll see he does get the Inferno Tower, so all is well at this point in time, already starting the Lala portion, again, uh, copying Hulk's plan here. Over on the upper left-hand side, dropping down the CC Hound, Camp Hound up at 12, followed up by a whole bunch of loons, has a nice haste to bring everything into the core, followed up by a Rage, and you'll see those balloons take out that core AD, no problems at all. They take out that bomb tower, just opening up really nice pathing for the loons. Has a nice haste. Those loons are going to one-shot the second and final Inferno Tower. And you'll see he does still have two heal spells for the back end. So he drops down the first one. Does have a few loons still coming up on this Tesla farm. So he still has a whole lot of loons though. Drops a nice heal right as they're approaching that Tesla farm right there. Followed by that Wizard Tower farm. So he's thinning out a little bit. But he it looks like he's going to have enough juice to get through these defenses. So you'll see he took Hulk's plan. Just tweaked it a few tiles. And completely changed the raid. And right there, he had one hound popped, still has a second hound that is about to pop once it goes over that last and final archer tower. So he has all kinds of cleanup for the trash around the outer ring of this base. And after that wizard tower, the last defense to go down is going to be that air sweeper that's right in the core next to the clan castle. But how did this fail? How did this fail? If you guys take a look, look at the archer or look at the builder huts over at nine and over at six o'clock and this is going to be a time fail we've seen it time and time again i'm sure you guys have seen it a bunch of times ends up getting hutted did not bring archers for those builder huts 98 percent very nice try to oki the good news is even though he didn't bring the archer huts or the uh, archers for the builder huts the good news is we have the plan. We know that we have a plan that can triple this base as long as it's executed right. Now we have Jacob, obviously going to be using the same plan that Oki did. And if you see where he dropped his Archer Queen, notice that his Archer Queen, right where he placed her, she actually gets the Builder Hut over at 9 o'clock. And instead of getting locked onto that Town Hall, she's going to step up, take out the Air Defense. And just like in Oki's attack, uh, he's just going to jump in with that Valk, uh, that Valk BK kill squad. Drops a nice early rage to push them through to get to that Inferno Tower even faster. And again, if you guys saw, I've already recapped this attack. If you guys saw the war recap in week five in CWO Premiere, FFS versus One Hive Genesis, I do recap this entire attack. So we'll just, I'll just talk a little bit, just let it play. And... It just goes to show how difficult and sometimes how many attempts it takes. And with a perfect plan, if you have a perfect plan, perfect execution, and a little bit of luck, you can get these Town Hall 10 three stars. And everyone knows how difficult they are. I mean, it's one of the hardest things in the game at this point in time is getting a Town Hall 10 three star and how crucial and how important they are in winning these wars, just like how it did with this one um, with Jacob's three star uh, on this attack. So you'll see, again, same plan. Had a nice heal spell. He might have changed the loon deployment ever so slightly compared to Oki's attack. But regardless, just has all kinds of loons left. And again, he did bring archers for those huts. Luckily, with uh, the tile that he placed his AQ on, she was actually able to snipe the one over at 9 o'clock. And that's how you, I mean, that's basically how you do it. Again, it's not easy at all, but this is what you see often in your war recaps. All you see is the three star and not what it takes. All the voice planning, all the sketches, all the back and forth. Um, 
and just taking the plan, tweaking it ever so slightly and getting these Town Hall 10 three stars. I really hope you guys enjoyed this progression video. I know I did one on 10 v 11 in taking down a dark looters base. And here, you know, I know you got a lot of you guys like those videos. So I did one on how to get that Town Hall 10 three star and the progression through the attack. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.